Hello everybody, I'm the Drybox Gamer, and last video we covered Bikini Bottom Part 1. Of course, we're going to be completing it as the game goes along. The first area we're going to is Jellyfish Fields. One of my cats is trying to say hi. Hi, Cali Cat. You here to say hi? No? Okay, bye-bye. You just popped on and looked at me funny. Yeah, I'm talking about you. The rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Uh oh, well, we're in trouble. Get away from the mic. I don't trust you around the mic. Oh. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, he laughed at him. How rude. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. I mean, he got I stung. Okay. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald. SpongeBob, seriously? I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> now I don't want to go up there and do it. I'll stay here. I'll buy you some jelly from the store. pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. <laughs> what does that make me laugh? Here, does that hurt? Do the stinks make it worse? Uh. You know, I'm probably the only one that's gonna care about this, but I like how they put the grass in the game. I know, that seems like a little thing to... This is goo. Yes, it is. Patrick and Spongebob can't swim. No, they cannot. Like I was saying, before my attention gets <laughs> taken away, I like how they put the grass. I don't think they had the grass in the original, like, not this well animated. How does it act as a teleporter? It's just a stupid box! Shut up, Squidward. It's a box of imagination. You know... Imagination. Fresh, like a spring breeze. I didn't realize I was this hurt. What did I? Oh wait, I remember now. The thunder tikis. Yeah. Oh, tiny robot got me. I know these guys have their own like canon names, which will be probably revealed later. But does anyone ever give them names? Like whenever you fight an enemy in a game. Do you give them random names, or do you wait and see what the game gives you? The little guys I like calling shockers. Because, you know, they shock you. I mean, jellyfish don't count, because, you know, they, like... I feel like a new sponge. They're, they're called jellyfish. I mean, I mean, I guess I could call them something yeah, else. Like I could call them annoying. Because sometimes they are annoying. I mean, they're not really in the game too often to be considered a pain, though. Except here. Jellyfish Fields is the one place they're annoying. I guess it's because there's a lot of them. Shock and awe, huh? Ah, <laughs> ah, that was stupid. I'm sorry. You go down here, you're gonna find this. You're gonna break all this because, you know, we're prone to breaking stuff. It's okay. And we're gonna find a stock right down here. We're going to cover all the stock locations at the end of the series before the final boss, though. So, if you need help on that, well, each video is going to have a... I guess it's going to... It's I've never done a walkthrough before. I mean, I find most of the collect... Like, I find most of the collectibles through the video. And I go and cover the ones I miss later on. So, if you have any issues, you could just follow the video, I guess. If not, there's probably a good guide on YouTube somewhere. Oh look, another shocker. 
Bye. Oh, imagine SpongeBob as a Terminator. He's all like, yeah, I can't do his voice, but <laughs> just imagine him yelling, Get to the chopper! No! The Krabby Patties aren't gonna serve themselves! Get on! That, that's not a good Terminator voice either. I'm just, only Patrick could throw this. Okay. That'll be done later. Obviously. I mean, it's actually done really later. Because, as you can tell, this video is kind of long. So, it, whatever. It'll get done when I feel like <laughs> Why was that sound going on? SpongeBob, they're smaller than you. How dare you pick on someone smaller than you? Oh, what the? Note to self. Dodge. Are those... Are those pufferfish? That, that raises a lot of questions, actually. I'll take this. Because are the robots putting pufferfish in a cannon and firing them at me? Because that's a little cruel. Like, dude. Imagine you're a pufferfish. Just try to relax. A robot snags you, scares you to where you puff out. And then they put you in a cannon and start shooting you out. Like, that's gotta be a bad... Like, that's a bad day. And then we have to dodge it. Dodging it shouldn't be too hard. You just gotta time it. It's all in the physics. If we take the angle of the blowfish being fired on where they're landing and how fast they're going, we could calculate how far and how fast we need, and I'm just making this up on the fly. All I just know is don't be under them when the shadow gets close. And I'm gonna take care of this, because this isn't gonna be a pain. No more. You scared me. Meow meow. Meow meow. A bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. This is a bungee jump like the uh fish hook that Mr. Krabs told you not to ever go near. Eric SpongeBob, you shouldn't be getting near those hooks. You're not Mr. Krabs. You're a bootleg. Arg, Spongebob, I am Mr. Krabs. I just have a bad cough. Arg. I'm not falling for it, you bootleg. We found another golden spatula on ice. Arg, Spongebob, I'd be needing that golden spatula to make a golden crabby patty. Leave me alone, bootleg. That's the voice. It's bootleg crabs. It's either bootleg crabs or just a random pirate who thinks he's Mr. Krabs. One or the other. Yeah, for, I think that's the first checkpoint. I don't know why, but this is my favorite enemy. That's actually my favorite enemy in the entire game. And I have to ask, is it weird to have a favorite enemy? Like, we're not going to be friends. I know we're always going to be fighting each other. But out of all the enemies to fight, I like fighting you. Is that a bit weird to have? I mean... I guess for certain games, it... Like... It, different reasons between different games. For, for instance, in... Um, in Kingdom Hearts, my favorite Heartless would be the Soldier. And the reason why I like that Heartless so much is because I felt like that was the first real challenge I ever got in the game. Like, you're not being... Put up against the puny guys anymore you're gonna be going against this agile enemy the one that's gonna really poke you you know but at the same time like it's it's not gonna be too overpowered that it's gonna one shot you like it tests you if that makes sense we do not have this power we're gonna have to come back and get this and then we get to play bowling i almost had it i'll just walk around I'll just walk around. Forget it. Are these jellyfish blue? I don't know what happened to my game. It acted up with, for for a brief moment. It acted up. Now, what other favorite enemies do I have? Because, oh man, I I never like going on the spot with these questions because I can never seem to remember what I like. <laughs> uh, this is. We've read this. 
Why have two warnings? Why have two warnings? Like... Okay, maybe the first one was a little out of the way and maybe some people might not notice it. Granted, this one's in the path. You're not gonna miss it. It's still weird that you give it to me twice. I mean... If you haven't figured out that what goo, water, whatever hurts ya, then you haven't tried jumping into the water. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever make a sequel of this game. I honestly would not care. Like, it'd be cool, but... You know, there's some games that don't need sequels. I would say this game ends pretty perfectly. No sequels needed. Oh. Found another sock on top of the jellyfish rock. Ooh, that rhymed. And we jump on this to go all the way back. I remember this one game where I didn't know any of the enemy names. So I just gave them their own names. And the reason why was because it was a horror game. It was a scary game. So instead of... This is a duplication machine. If you attack it, it's going to blow up. Gotcha. Like... My thought process was, if it has a normal enough name, then I wouldn't be afraid of what's chasing me. And I gave some of the enemies some normal names, like George, I think one of them I gave Lenny. Ah, what was the other name? I know one was Betty, but that was in the sequel, but then I, then I remembered something. Jason's a normal enough name. Freddy's a normal enough name. Those are the two... Oh, well, I guess they were the two most horrifying slasher movies back in their day, and I just realized that it doesn't matter how normal a name is, if something's scary, it's gonna be scary. But it helped me get through the game, at least. In all honesty, I think the only level in the entire... in that game that actually got me scared was probably the chapter 9, I think. It, it, it goes to chapters. It's that type of game. Well, basically, during that level, the main antagonist, he keeps popping up in the most inconvenient areas. And if he touches you, it's a one-hit kill. I'm not afraid of the fact that he's popping up randomly. I'm not afraid of how he looks because to me he doesn't look that scary the fact that he could one hit kill me <laughs> it, it does scare me i mean if anything one hit shots you it, it's scare oh hey how to get his mail oh yeah it's that sponge kid now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Then your voice oh, actor is kind of different no. too. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if I don't think that's going to help anything. Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself. Massaging your feet isn't working. <laughs> I think I better I'm try sorry. a direct approach. I try clipping my toenails. It, it's just with that scene uh, when I saw it as a kid, it, it made me laugh very hard. And now that I remember it, it still makes me kind of laugh. I mean, he's out in the middle of nowhere, no one's hitting him. <laughs> yeah. And I just realized I said as a kid, I, I don't, I don't like that. I broke that, but I don't like that. I can feel the gray hair popping up. Oh. Ah, we missed. Hold on. Hold on. We're doing it right now. I'm getting that sock. I'm going to collect the sock with my tongue. That sounds gross. It is gross. It's very gross. But there's a hidden there's a hidden thing over there. A hidden path. I I need to get that too. I need to get that too. Third time's a charm. Third time is always a charm. If the third time doesn't work, well you you keep trying till you get it. I like to jump around because it, it makes it a little, it feels a little easier to control. Not always, like this is wide enough to control, but everything else. Hey, you. Needs to do and you collected it with your tongue. Oh, we need one more to get a trade, but like I said, that's going to be saved until the end of the game. 
You need to get to Patrick to help him. But he's on. Did it say unreachable? I wasn't reading. <laughs> I couldn't read it fast enough. Okay, we know the drill. D destroy the robots. Destroy all of them. It shouldn't be too. It shouldn't be too bad. Just smack them around, and they'll eventually go away. Now, you want to get rid of the duplication machines first, because obviously, if you don't, they're just gonna keep popping up. I don't even think we even need to defeat the robots. We just need to press the buttons. I I think like. Not too sure. Don't quote me on that. I mean, get rid of the robots regardless, because, you know, ro bad ro bad robots, you know? Break, break. Nope, oh, there's my cat again. What are you up to, kitty kitty? Meow meow? Alright. Bye. It, yeah, that's why I think you don't even need to destroy all the robots. You just need to press a button. Oh, we go to Patrick. He looks he looks nice and safe. Hey, SpongeBob. Whew, thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I'll it's tell you also what, shiny. All that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. SpongeBob. <laughs> Wait, that's not no, I need to get How did I do his voice? Is mayonnaise an instrument? SpongeBob SquarePants. I am shocked and appalled. I don't think that's his voice. I forgot how he did it. Okay, so with Patrick, he can pick stuff up and throw it. Which is pretty cool. It's also pretty fun. Especially since you can pick up, you know, enemies. I, I broke the tiki. I mean, we could still do it. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna hit that tiki right there. I got this. Just aim. I don't... Right here. Right here. Ooh, off by a... Off by a mile, I guess. Right here? Right there. Okay, we got it. We got it. Stomach bump. It's like a fist bump, only with your stomach. Okay, for the throw... The throw fruit, or watermelon, whatever you want to call it. You gotta be quick because when it, it has a time limit. See that? When it starts blinking, it means it's gonna go poof. And another fun fact about these is that originally you were supposed to be given a soccer ball. I don't know why they changed it, but you know, I just I shared that. Thunder Tiki's. They're Tiki's with anger management. Like Squidward. I heard that! It's true though! Anyway. Yeah, I forgot how much the range was on on these things. And that was an accident. I didn't mean to throw it into the other Tiki. And I know this is going to take me back, but I just wanted to see. I also... Okay, maybe I like... Maybe I like using the catapults just a little too much. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh look, it's Plankton. Talking to me. Oh, mighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to I never heard anybody call him Mr. Plankton. So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. Thanks? I was in an undesirable I think. position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. That happens when you sleep wrong. Words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know hey. how to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can... Why does Patrick want to be vaporized? Job, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you. That sounds... That sounds war that sounds a hundred times worse. And you're smaller than me, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit you until I feel better. Also, it's Plankton. He's evil, so uh, that justifies my actions. I like how he said that there's signs to read. It, it would have been funny if Patrick was all like, 
he interrupted me. It, it would have been funny if Patrick remarked by saying, huh. Assuming I... You assume I know how to read. Wait, let me try... Let me try in his voice. You assume I know how to read. Ah. Ow! Oh. What? Wait, what? What? Uh... Excuse me? What? Can I... I... Okay. Okay. I... Oh, okay, my brain just decided to go away. What was I gonna say? I was gonna... Well, I was gonna mess up, honestly. That's one thing. Oh, wait a minute. It, it probably wants me to use a pro root. Watermelon, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. Um... I was gonna say something of that... I'm not sure about the impersonation. I think it was going to be something along the line of, I, I, I'm sorry, that just threw me off. It, it doesn't sound right. My impersonation does not sound right. I could be wrong, because, you know, it's me that's hearing it. I, I could be wrong. Throw this over here, because, you know, we don't, we don't exactly, I don't think we need this, though. Maybe we need it for that, but we don't... It's not necessary. I don't think it's necessary. Also, I do not like that jellyfish that stung me. That was very rude. Just dodge everything. Beautiful. Dodged it. You know, I don't think I've tried a Spongebob voice. <laughs> and seeing how high-pitched it is, I am not. Like, I... No, I cannot. Oh, whoops. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to hit the thing. Okay, aim. There we go. So shiny. Like, it's a very high-pitched voice, and I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit that. Hold on. I want to hit that. What? No. No, again. I didn't mean to hit it. I want to hit that. The floating tiki. Give me the tiki. I want the tiki. I'm not going to go away until I break it. We'll be here all day. I'll figure... Oh, whoops. I'll, I'll figure something out. Don't you worry. Just got to angle it just right. Mm. Ah, there we go. Got it. Nice. Okay, now, now we can leave. I am satisfied with my actions. Just put you right there. Okay. And this is just going to tell us that we could jump on top of the watermelon. So we could get higher up and all that. Which, it's kind of funny because, honestly, sometimes in video games, they just have you, like, have the thing you're throwing just break. Upon contact, how am I? Excuse me? Uh, what? Was that? My brain broke again. I mean, I'm used to my brain breaking. Just not when it comes to SpongeBob. I don't think there's any collectibles in the slide, so we're okay. Then again, I don't remember exactly. This one goes boom. Don't oh yes, it goes to... Better. It does go boom. That was fun. I know there's a collectible in the water, though. I could see it. And this is gonna be, what, the 10th? Yep. We can now go and trade this for a golden spatula. But like I said, I'm... I'm just gonna... Put a little weight on that until, you know, later in the game. So don't worry if you don't have tin at the moment. I want to go again. I want to go again. I want to have fun. I know they're simple, but I love the slides. I mean, the only slide I do not like is the slide in the Kelp Forest. And I would say... Oh... Uh, 
probably the dream slide. Those are difficult. I mean, I do like difficulty in some aspects, but for certain things, I just, like, I don't care too much for it. If that makes sense. And these are the... These enemies right here, you can't pick up. They'll just get destroyed if you try to do a flop. Which I end up forgetting about. That's why I had to go and reread the sign real quick. And remembering that you stun or, you know, defeat them. Reminded me that, no, the small ones, you can't really stun. You only destroy. <laughs> okay. Those ones, however. Okay, I stunned one, but I missed the other. Pick them up. You could throw them. I missed them. My bad. That didn't stun them. Oh, oh, okay. Nope, nope. I am doing bad. I am doing bad. Stunning them is not doing too well. I'm just going to break it. Ah, oh, he gets me in midair. I mean, good hit, but not fair. Which rhymes, I know. Okay, pick you up. I missed completely. Pick you up again. Oh, jeez. Now, if I ever get very quiet when I'm doing a gameplay, when I'm playing, two things have two things has occurred. Either A, I'm contemplating my life choices, or B, I'm really trying to focus and I'm not always communicative. <laughs> but I try not to be too distracted. Emphasis on try. Because sometimes I get distracted, like, yeah, you know, uh, oh, boss hey is attacked. Squidward tells me you're looking for yes. Good thing Skip. too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs, I'll see what I can do. Arrgh, Patrick, you also owe me some shiny objects for this helpful information. Arrgh, arrgh. That was an even worse attempt. I'm sorry. It was a laugh. The laugh got, like, the uh, the laugh was the one part where I'm, hey, is that supposed to be me? That's a crude picture of me. I like how it goes green when they're not hostile. And red when they're hostile. That's kind of cute. Ah, I call these guys shooters. Because they, sh they shoot at you, and I just realized that was my last life. Okay. I don't recall how to fight this enemy exactly. I just remember hitting. I don't know who I they are. I don't know why they're here. All I know is that I must hit it. Smack. Okay, so when it hits, when you hit it, it does this little revenge thing that if you're too close it will shoot you quickly so be aware of that i don't know how long it takes for me to realize that but i'm just stating that now as much as you can excuse me break break well i guess knockout would be a better term than break but you know whatever I remember there was something to do with these tikis. I don't think it was something to do with a sock or anything, but Oh, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. What kind of What was that? I never heard Patrick say that before. <laughs> Sorry. It was just, it was kind of weird. No, you all get knocked out. No. Knock out. Everybody gets knocked out. I'm not getting killed again. There's not going to be a moment where I'm going to have one HP left because I couldn't knock you guys out. There we go. Got to do it a little away from them. Just a little away from them. Too far, you're not going to get them. 
too close and you're gonna get hit. No, don't follow me. And of course I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it in order. Left to right, I guess that that's the order. I I don't know how this lowers the lake, but I'm not gonna question it. It's a cartoon. Anything can happen in a cartoon. I'll take this. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's see how much further do we have. Can I jump here? No, I cannot jump here. I mean, it looks like you could jump there. Does it not? Mm, I, I mean, I probably could. It's just I'm bad at the jump. I'll just go around. Like, it's it's not that far regardless. <laughs> hey, it did well the job. Done, Patrick. You're a real star. Oh, ha ha. A cookie? No. What? No cookie. Give me a cookie. Let's see. Uh, the shush tiki are very shy. You have to sneak up on them. Like I showed it. Like I showed it somewhat in the first episode, but I didn't comment on it. You know how long it took me to realize there was a button dedicated to stealth? It took me a long time. I I'm saying the remaster long time. So. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'm just just walking around having a good day. What happened? What happened? I didn't hit him. Take that. Now hit him. That's how you do it. You hit him once, back off, and then you go in and you hit him again. Eh, I don't think there's anything up here but health. Underwear, health, whatever. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could jump through that gap, but I don't want to risk it. See, with water, touch it, touch it a certain amount of times, and you get, you get hurt, and you, it's game over. Like, you know, like, instant game over. Doesn't matter how much health you have, it, it's like, just game over. So... I called it water goo. It, it it's blue, so it has to be water. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. And this is another mini game that we have to come back later to do. And I believe it's for us. I don't know what it's for. It's either for a sock or it's for something else. I'm not too entirely sure. It's one or the other. You need the other box. Did I forget to open the other box, or is this the first time we saw the box? No, whatever. We'll figure it out. Walk away from that. And we'll go over there in a few seconds. We just gotta go around, because there's a way to jump there. Just dodge them. We're good. We're golden. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I remember how much I did not like this enemy. If it's not... Okay, actually, now I remember another enemy. It's the one that sleeps. That one as a kid, like, it, it creeped me out. It scared me as a kid. And I didn't think that was going to hit me. Huh. Fresh, like a spring breeze. But no, that one, specifically that one, the sleeping one... That one I do not like. I think that is the only enemy I do not like. I feel like a new okay, they're all gone. So here's a little path. You have to be careful because, you know, it's covered in water. Goo. Whatever. Just know that if you accidentally fall into the water, you probably have, like, one chance to drop in and the others that's gonna fall... So you gotta be careful. I I mean, you have one chance to probably pop back onto the last platform you were, but another time will end up in a game over. 
if that makes sense. I, I mean, eventually you'll see what I mean, but you get what I mean. Just try to avoid it. I think this one's... Yep, this is a platform. All you really want to do is just, like, jump a little. Like, don't stand too long on it. I don't want... I, you know what? I don't think I was supposed to change into Pat... I mean... <laughs> Patrick. I don't think I was supposed to change into Spongebob just yet. I think this part was still for Patrick. Whoops. My bad. And there's a stock over there. We'll be getting that momentarily. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh, there's one of those duplicators, so might as well race through and get rid of that before we get outnumbered. Ow. That was a delayed response. <laughs> SpongeBob, that was a little delayed, don't you think? I mean, I was on top of that response. There's something over here. I'm pretty sure there's something over here. Fresh, like a spring breeze. I think we have to jump on this and jump over there. Boy, had to go yep. Glad to have this back. It's like, how do I explain it? It's like old memories that seem to pop up. Oh, oh. okay. Carefully. There we go. Uh, you know, I don't think I need a spell for these. I could just get the Thunder Tiki all angry and then blow him up, but... Get rid of that one. Then let him blow up. I think the final... Final boss... No. <laughs> Imagine the game having the final boss on the first level. Uh, no, I think the first boss is just around the corner. I mean, I'm pretty sure. We're basically at the top of the hill at this point. And you don't want to forget the sock that's, like, right down here. Easy to miss, but, you, you know, just not hard to find. Uh, anything else that I'm forgetting? Because, you know, I try to... I try to 100% 100, 100 areas my first time going there. Because backtracking is a little difficult. Well, it's not difficult per se, it's just, it's tedious. And not many people like backtrack. So I try to 100% places, but uh, there are a few exceptions. Like, for example, this place right here, you can't 100% on your first go. You need two power-ups, you know that. So it doesn't really matter if you miss one or two. You're going to be back regardless. And yeah, I do think I wasn't supposed to switch to pack. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired. I don't think I was supposed to switch off to Spongebob as early as I did. Oh, well. Okay, so these guys are gonna shoot at you. Just take them. Oh, and there's a golden spatula. Nice. Gotta beat them. Run away. Beat them. Oh, what? What? I was not paying attention. Okay, we got the golden spatula. D Excuse me. You've committed crimes against Bikini Bottom and her people. You're now gonna suffer the consequences for doing that. You learn your lesson? Nobody dabs around here. <laughs> Not without getting... Imagine it's that one scene from the <laughs> Spongebob Squarepants movie. It would be the first Spongebob Squarepants movie where the tough dudes are like, Oh, what, man, what was the speech? Bubble buddy. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Uh, okay, okay, the speech goes, All bubble-blowing babies will be beaten senseless by every able-bodied patron in the bar. But just replace with bubble-blowing to dabbing. <laughs> He's actually singing the theme of the area. I never noticed that as a kid. He's good at acapella. You know what? I kind of feel bad. Picking a fight with him, I feel kind of bad. I, I mean, look at him. He's just trying to take a shower. 
and did it tell me to slap him? So I interrupted this guy's, you know, shower time. Told to attack him. I don't feel like the good guy in this situation. I feel like the bad guy. Look, King Jellyfish, I just want your jelly. Ow! Okay. You wanna go? Okay, you wanna go? I'm gonna get that jelly one way or another, King Jellyfish. You're either gonna give it to me willingly, or I'm gonna knock you out of you. Your choice. Okay, I see the choice you're making. You want me to knock it out of you. I don't want that. But you're giving me no other option. I mean, ignoring the fact that I... What? Ignoring the fact that I invaded your home, invaded your privacy, and straight up attacked you first w without you doing much. Just ignoring all of that. You know, I don't remember where I was going with this, honestly. <laughs> You know, I could have sworn these jellyfish were purple in the original. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. These ones right here always got... Yep. Those ones were notorious for hitting me back then. And, and they're pretty good at it now. Huh. Okay. Round two. Let's go. I'm not giving up until I get the jellyfish jelly. Whoop, sorry. Not really, but sorry. Ah, uh, no cutscene this time. Just straight into the fight. Straight into the fight, huh? Why is my timing so bad? I know it's been a while, but usually my timing isn't this bad. What? I just... I keep walking into him. I keep walking into him. It's fine. You learn from your mistakes. And I have to check on something. Okay, never mind. Dodge beautifully. Dodge, hit him. You want to get somewhat close, but not too close. And with the jellyfish, well, they're jellyfish. Just, just smack them before they shock you. As a kid, this part always, it always drove my anxiety up because he gets so close and he's so gigantic. And then smack him from a distance. Okay, we're good. Give me a second to catch my breath. Uh, what level should we do next? I think I'm gonna go with downtown and then Goo Lagoon. I feel like a new sponge. Finish slapping him. He has one hit left. Smack. Got rid of that one before it attacked me. Oh, nope. Oh, okay, I dodged it. No, no. Ow. That's fine. We still have three hit points left. Just get rid of all the, you know, ankle biters. Okay, there. Dodged it beautifully and smack. I still don't know how to feel about this. He sounds angry. He sounds kind of angry. He packed up his stuff and he left his home. I drove him from his home. I feel kind of awful now. Okay, gonna take this. I guess we returned to Squidward. SpongeBob, did you get my jellyfish jelly yet? Yes. It only cost somebody's home, but, you know, whatever. This light right here, there's something to collect. There's some things to collect, actually. It, give me a moment to remember what I need, because, like I said, it's been a while. It's been a long time since I actually did this. Break, break, break them all. Uh, wait, there was an alternative path. I don't know how to get there, though. How did I get there as a kid? Oh, well, that was easy. I don't know why my game skipped that. But regardless, we're going to go back up. I'm going to smack these because I don't like these ones in particular. I'm, I'm also a little salty from the jellyfish fight. So, yeah. Smack. Oh, wait. 
You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Thanks, Larry. Smack. <laughs> All right, go back up. We're gonna take the slide again. I think I know. I think I know what to do. All right, after one bad attempt, I remembered what I had to do. So we're gonna do it. So you want to go down the slide, and you're gonna see a little path to the right. You don't want to jump into that, but you want to jump down here. And then you're going to jump a little. Be careful, because, you know, you can mess up and fall like that. Whoops. My bad. But, luckily for me, it had me right here. I don't know why, but there's a sock right there. And as you can see, it goes, it goes back to the main path. But, since we don't need to do it again, we could just continue on. And this trampoline right here is going to take us right back to the start of Goo uh, Goo Lagoon <laughs> Jellyfish Fields. And that should be it for Jellyfish Fields. Like right now we don't have it 100%, but we're going to we're going to come back and we're going to complete it when we get the power-ups. Now we just turn this into Squidward and that should be it. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um what if I just gave you this? Well, I hope everyone enjoyed watching. I hope it helps. Thank you. I'll see you. I'll see everybody next time. And as you can see, we have four more, but we'll get it eventually. Bye.